Make My Dreams by Hall & Oates. This is one of the most feel-good songs that you can possibly play on guitar. We're going to be looking at it with no capo, uh, different capos, we're covering all the chords, and how we can play that lead melody, because it is definitely a challenging lead melody to sing. And if you'd like to find more songs with the chords you know at your level, Whatever that level may be, check out the top link in the description and check out the songs search page on my website andyguitar.co.uk to find loads of free songs. We have over 600 all there, all categorised by artists, by level of difficulty and by the chords you know. To a chord sheet um, at the top of the description on YouTube and it's at the orange button on my website if you're watching this video there. I'm going to link to this chord sheet that I'm working from here. So this song is in the key of F and then the other chords, basically that would make every chord in this song a bar chord. Now as soon as a lot of that is barring at the first fret, the first option we have is to put a capo at that first fret, play an E major chord, and we can see that that kind of becomes an F chord because the capo is acting as our first finger, it's acting as that bar chord finger for us. To make the chord sheet reflect that, hit the transpose button by minus one, you can do this on any ultimate guitar chord sheet, and suddenly the chord sheet is all in the key of capo first fret. So E major, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, and A major. Now say all these other chords were still a little bit out of reach, another option therefore is to put it in the key of D by hitting transpose down once and then twice. The transpose is now at minus three, we put capo at essentially minus three or the third fret and so then we're in the key of D. Still to the original key of the song but capo key of D. Other chords E minor, F sharp minor we could play like this or just do a D uh, over F sharp in the bass and then G major and then suddenly look at the chorus E minor, A major, D major, suddenly this is a song that we can play. So you choose which capo you're going to go for. I'm going to cover it more thoroughly in the capo key of E major, so capo first fret, but just to give you a quick blast through if you just wanted to strum this as easy as possible. You could play a capo third fret, transpose down by minus three, and we go what I want you got and it might be hard to handle, like a flame that burns the candle, the candle feeds the flame, oh yeah, well what I got full stock of thoughts and dreams that scatter, then you pull them all together. And how I can explain, oh yeah, well you you make my dreams come true. Okay, that's pretty doable. I'm sure if you followed my learning materials, beginner's course, intermediate course, you'll be able to figure that out. Let's put this in a slightly more challenging capo key of E, which should make our chords, primary chords like E, A major, and B major, which we can just play as a power chord. And then, there's this Damien Rice technique, which he uses in the blower's daughter, which is very useful where we can play essentially E major, first finger, middle finger, third finger, and then thumb. That's an F sharp minor chord, and you can just play the thicker strings or let the thinnest two ring out. And then I'm gonna go A sus two for that A chord give it a little bit of that riff. What I want you got but it might be hard to handle. The candle feeds the flame. Well what I got full stock of thoughts and dreams that scatter. 
And now I can't explain, oh yeah, well you You make my dreams come true That's how we kind of play the chords for the singing parts, for the verses. For that intro, it's played on like a Rhodes keyboard type thing, and we can mimic that on electric or acoustic guitar. Really cool, so we've got the open uh, string six with an F power chord at non-capo eighth fret. So kind of one up from E, because we're in this key, we've got capo first fret. And we're gonna go thickest string, so string six, power chord twice. And the we go to our barred first finger, third finger, then back down. other section chords wise is the little listen to this so this would be after the end of the second chorus listen to this D D A A back to the E chord D D A A and then after those two strums of the D chord A chord it's basically back to a chorus stuck in my daydream we're gonna add a quick A chord to B So from the listen to this section, listen to this, D, D, A, A, E, same as that again. It's a C sharp minor there, which is a bar chord. Stuck in my daydream, that sleep watch should be over by now. So it's all F sharp minor, A major to B. Back to E. Quick little F chord. F sharp minor. And then for that final chorus, A major, B major, E major. I've been waiting for, waiting for you, girl. You make my dreams come true. For the lead lines, rather than thinking about a scale shape or anything, I want you to think of a D major shape. But think about that D major shape at the fifth and then sixth fret, just here, this little triangle. And straight away I want us to play... It's a little D sus4 shape to a D major shape, but this is an F chord because we've moved it up three frets. And these two notes here... Uh, where most of the melody is based around. But we can either slide from fret 5 to fret 7, and then to fret 6. The other notes we'll need are the 10th fret, 8th fret, and then 6th fret, but we can also bend up to that 10th fret. When I bend to this, I just want to hear the down bend, so... So bend it up first. Try this on electric guitar if you're not used to acoustic guitar string bending, because it is incredibly difficult, because the strings are thicker on most acoustic guitars. And what we're doing from there is we're thinking, right, so we got these notes. One, two, three, four, five. Which is the F major pentatonic scale. And just try and play the melody from that. I don't want this to be too focused on which note are we playing at a time. I want it to be more instinctive than that. I want this to be a hybrid between, you know, the melody we're going for and improvisation, actually, because that's what I'm doing. I'm absolutely improvising this. I'm not thinking of every lyric while I'm playing.
One extra note there. How I can explain. Oh yeah, well you, you make my dreams come true. One thing I do here is play the D sus4 like this. The D sus4 shape, it's an F in reality. But... We also have that F chord, there's a bar here. The Keith Richards School of Guitar. That's how to play this amazing song, get more help with that style of acoustic lead guitar in uh, my various courses, so intermediate course, and also I've got acoustic lead guitar courses as well, and also a really comprehensive lead guitar syllabus, lead guitar one, two, and three. There's all of this available at anyguitar.co.uk. Check out those extra courses, and I hope to see you in the next video.